بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. Again on Rattlesnake Trail. والحمد لله. And again we're just visiting or going to see the signs of Allah subhanahu wa taala His beautiful creation. والحمد لله رب العالمين. As Allah subhanahu wa taala says, وما خلقت الجن والإنس إلا عبدون. I have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. How can we not worship the creator of the heavens and earth when we see all this beautiful creation? MashaAllah, tabarakAllah. It's like as if we're in the gar- some gardens of Jannah, you know, some sort of paradise on earth. You know, it's, it's beautiful, it's green. And it's important that we use these signs, we reflect on what we see and benefit. And benefit from the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Allah has established us on the earth to worship him and him alone as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says inni ja'ilun fil ardi khalifa Allah was speaking about Adam alayhi salatu wasalam who and he was speaking to the malaika to the angels that he established Adam the father of mankind on the earth alayhi salatu wasalam in order as a vicegerent in order to look after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's wonderful creation and wondrous creation and to use it to worship Allah to benefit that's what, that's all we do is call mankind to that to the worship of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala if we stick with that purpose then indeed we'll have success in this life as well as the hereafter but it's when we get distracted and we begin to look to our material needs only and how we're going to get the next dollar how we're going to own this and buy that do this and do that or our dawah becomes distorted I want to call people in order to get a paycheck uh, how many people became Muslim on my hand this week well I have a quota a financial with a financial incentive or I need my fame and my status you know so dawah and calling to Tawheed, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, requires sincerity from us. Otherwise, we can fall into hezbiyah, we can call into, fall into calling to ourselves. May Allah forgive us and protect us from it. We have to remember, what, what is our purpose? Our purpose is to worship Allah. When we refute Ahl Bid'ah, you know, the people of innovation, we do it for the sake of Allah, to, to warn the Muslim community from their harms. When we pray we pray only to Allah because he's commanded us to do it and the Prophet ﷺ established it and showed us how to pray Islam is built upon five pillars so all of these things are for our benefit and for the worship of Allah and they require sincerity from us they require us to understand our purpose and fulfill it fulfill it for the sake of Allah not for the sake of ourselves. أعوذ بالله من ذلك عليهم إني أعوذ بك أن أشرك بك وأنا أعلم استغفرك لما لا أعلمه. يا حي يا قيوم يا سميع الدعاء. May Allah accept our good and forgive our evil and bless the Muslims everywhere and protect us from كل سوء مكرو. Help our brothers and sisters in Burma. Help our brothers and sisters in China. Help our brothers and sisters in Ethiopia and our brothers and sisters wherever they may be suffering. May Allah bless. The brothers and sisters in Somalia to establish peace and a, a, a sovereign Islamic state. And may Allah wa ta'ala, based upon the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet, وسلم, and may Allah bless the Muslims everywhere and protect uh, and bless the leaders of the Muslims, as is from the Sunnah of the Prophet, وسلم, to make dua for them, supplicate for the leaders that they can fulfill their duties, and supplicate for your families that the fathers can lead lead the families and do their job sustain take care of their children take care of their wives and provide for them may Allah bless with success wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam